Good afternoon, everyone. Jonathan Davis here with Davis Auto Sports. Excited to offer you guys not a typical type of vehicle we have in on uh, an inventory, but an extremely nice example of a 2010 Volvo XC90 Cross Country. This is a two owner Carfax certified guarantee vehicle, flawless history, clean and clear title, dealer service since day one of ownership, locally traded in. Uh, we did a couple special things to this Volvo, so make sure to stick around and uh, see what we did. Starting off with the exterior, you see this thing is absolutely as clean as they come. It is a 2010, please expect very minor wear, but there's zero damage. Uh, we got a lot of leaves on the ground, so if you hear those in the background, me stepping on them, I do apologize. We are shooting this in 4K, so if you have the ability to watch it in 4K, please do so. We're gonna show you every single part of this Volvo. Beautiful condition. White, in my opinion, is the cleanest, nicest overall color on this truck. This Volvo has 136,000 miles. As I mentioned, it's been dealer service since day one of ownership. That is a, an original Volvo from the factory windshield. As you see, phenomenal condition original paint on this hood this volvo has no paint work every single panel has the factory issued bin plate it's all original flawless history headlights are original no oxidation or condensation if you guys are familiar with us here at davis auto sports you know we don't typically sell uh, everyday sort of SUVs like this but when it came in uh, instead of us wholesaling it or bringing it to an auction it's a very very clean truck and uh, we did some work to it to make it that much nicer in true DAS fashion so starting with the exterior we did a full paint correction uh, if you're unfamiliar with that it's not painting a vehicle uh, and we do it to about 95% of our vehicles that come in but if you just look at this paint and you look how glossy it is that's not a wax that's put on there uh, we do a wet sanding. It's about four days with two guys on a, on a vehicle this size. Uh, essentially, the clear coat, we do a very light sandpaper with a high grit, 3,000 grit, uh, and it just essentially takes the smallest layer of clear coat off, and then we then go through multiple steps of high-speed compound bu uh, buffs, compounds, polishes to get this amazing new clear coat to come back to life. And uh, that's why the clear coat has such a nice shine to it and uh, essentially the top layer of clear coat this is the first time that this clear coat has been the top layer because we take a very thin layer off uh, so that's why it looks so great that's a very tedious process exterior wise that's about all this volvo needed um, super clean small blemishes here and there uh, some of the wheels have some light curb rashing but nothing major at all but the body is very 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 clean Most of the work uh, performed on this Volvo we did is the inside, and we'll get to that here in a moment. Do have a touch-up spot on the hood right there. Nice and smooth engine running. And like I said, all original body panels, no paint work. Very rare to find on a 2010 model vehicle. And just look at that gloss on that paint. Beautiful. Pillars in good condition. Rockers are super clean. Got some little scratches all up in here. They're sort of just isolated to that one little area. And you have a touch-up area right there. Rear park assist, 3.2 all-wheel drive, obviously. So exterior, as you see, super clean. We'll show you the engine bay real quick and we'll get to the good stuff inside.
brand spanking new AC system, including the compressor and all the other uh, components that go with it. Original Volvo panel, bolts never been turned. Um, VIN plate there. Same thing here. VIN plate on the hood. So the inside was a big undertaking. If you guys aren't familiar with us here at Davis Auto Sports as well, we are a restoration facility by nature. Um, so a lot of what we do when we get cars in like this, uh, if there's anything uh, that we can do to make them nicer within uh, the scope of what a vehicle is worth, uh, we try to do. Uh, with that said, we can't redo everything uh, that has a blemish or a mark on it. So. Uh, with this particular Volvo, the inside, uh, first and foremost, smoke-free, uh, no children, uh, very, very clean. The seats in these Volvos, uh, and one of the reasons that we sort of stay away from them, they're notorious for the leather uh, just cracking and having, excuse my hands, we've been doing some contracting work inside. But um, they, they uh, just get really dry rotted and really cracked up, and this driver's seat, uh, was like that the bolsters were bad and then the bolster on the uh, passenger seat uh, was starting to get worn out as well so we decided to go ahead and redo the seats uh, the front seats and in doing so you know we had all new leather and this is all done in-house by us uh, so we're like all right well now the front seats look amazing and the back seats were okay for the age but when you have brand new front seats so we went ahead and did the back seats as well so every single part from headrest of the entire front seats, the center console, uh, the back seat minus the third row is all brand spanking new. This is all done in-house by our upholstery division here. Dash, very, very clean. Top of the steering wheel, very clean. All the buttons are extremely clean usually they're worn out from touching them and hitting them throughout the years very very clean cruise control everything works as it should uh, no check engine lights on of any sort we'll go ahead and take it for a drive later as well once again factory issued VIN plate So just to give you an idea, the seats on this, uh, between removing them, taking them off the brackets, uh, doing the leather, reinstalling them, it's about a three week job. Um, we didn't add the cost that I'm going to give you to the price of the vehicle, but if you were to go to an upholstery shop that has the ability to do this to this quality, you're going to pay every bit of $3,000. Um, now that's what we would charge if someone brought this car to us to do. Um, but that's not what we're adding to the price of this car. Uh, we do a lot of reconditioning and restoration work to our vehicles. And uh, if we were to add normal retail pricing, <laughs> we would never sell them. So carpets are also extremely clean. But uh, just look at the stitching, perfect stitching. Uh, we also, when we redo the seats here, we actually rebuild these bolsters right here. Uh, years of sliding in and out. If you look at my hand, it starts to go up but these bolsters are flat over the years. So we actually rebuild uh, the bolster. So when you sit in our seats when we're done, uh, they feel much like a brand new seat and sometimes even better because we sometimes build up the bolsters more in factories. So it just feels really, really good on the lower portion and on the back portion. These obviously, as you can clearly tell, they're not covers. Uh, we removed the factory leather and uh, some people, believe it or not, would think they are, but like I said, the inside's really, really clean. And with that said, you're, you may find some slight imperfections, uh, very, very slight. One will say, well, you redid the leather. Why didn't you do this? Well, that then will lead into absolutely everything. And uh, you get into a vehicle where you have so much money internally that you can't sell it. So there's some, certain things that we just can't redo everything. We do the, the big stuff on a car like this, but. I mean, just all the attention to detail. 
have those in there as well. We also include everything from factory. Brand new pockets. It's so much easier to create these seats without the pockets, but uh, not only creating the pockets, but a nice seam right there. You know, to be honest with you, if you find a shop that's able to do this, you're probably going to get closer to about four grand just because of the headrest on this, the way everything's designed. Uh, I will say that we did not do the back seats. Reason being, uh, they're pretty much flawless for their age and uh, just the added time and cost to do those just didn't really make a whole lot of sense. Usually people that have these will keep that folded down to have larger cargo room. Uh, so we didn't feel that that was a huge deal. Uh, of course, when doing the seats, the backside comes out, so we clean that carpet and uh, just do a, a full, full job. Now, there is a little bit of wear on this back carpet, and I know people say, oh, well, you should have done that. And it, like I said, it just will just lead into more things. You got a, a wear item right there. Uh, we didn't have this actual color carpet in stock. Uh, that's one of the other reasons we didn't do it and right now materials are very hard to come across if we have to order stuff So we typically use stuff that we had in stock. Uh, we got lucky enough to order this leather here uh, On a roll and it took weeks to get But it is a 2010 it's not a expensive uh, SUV so Certain things like that you will just have to deal with if you want it Also, uh, what you're not going to see on video um, is when you open the door, you get a nice whiff of brand new leather. Uh, and that is obviously uh, refreshing to get into a older vehicle and not smell uh, remnants of a old used vehicle. So as soon as you open the door, you get a nice whiff of leather. So let's go on a quick test drive. This thing drives perfect. Everything works exactly as it should. Keep in mind, brand new AC system. So all the electronics have been fully tested from windows, locks, mirrors, um, everything works exactly as they should. We'll come with a full tank of gas. Complete drive line is very smooth, no noises whatsoever. The dash on this thing is in great condition. As mentioned earlier, this truck does have a perfect Carfax history report, clean and clear title, only two owners, dealer service at Volvo since day one of ownership. This Volvo will also come with a Virginia state inspection. That's a third party inspection, not done by us. It's done by an inspection station that's governed by the Virginia State Police Department. Uh, they check for all safety items and other items, uh, frame, brakes, lights. Um, there's a huge laundry list and their goal is to find something that doesn't pass because you then have to have them fix it. 
Uh, you can deny it, but it goes in the computer system across the state, so it's not like you can go to another inspection shop and uh, you know get it done. If it fails at a particular inspection station for tires, it goes in the system. As soon as you bring that vehicle to another inspection station, they put the VIN in and see that it just failed. So uh, it's a third-party inspection. Every single one of our vehicles will pass. To drive this truck for the next hour you're going to see the same thing perfect drivability uh, steering's perfect zero unusual noises no hiccups whatsoever hard on the brakes no shaking of the steering wheel that's how clean that leather is nice and grippy No issues from any of the power steering components. I'll let it go. Comes right back into place. Very smooth. All right, guys, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to contact us at 855-955-3377. You can also email us at sales at davisautosports.com. If you're watching this video on YouTube, we only use YouTube to host our video. This is not the full advertisement. So if there's information that was not in this video, price, VIN, uh, go to our website, davisautosports.com, where you will get a lot more information. Thank you.